Hey everybody and welcome back. Back out in the shop again today. Today I'm working on one of the kind of the more important pieces of the crib. I'm working on the top arch of the back rail of the crib. And so this is kind of one of the decorative pieces. I could just do a plain old straight across rail at the back and it'd be really easy. But I want to do it nice. Like I've said before, I want to do it right the first time. So this is what I'm doing. I've been talking about this 2x12 for quite some time and I've finally started working on it a little bit here. Uh, I got the, the arch that I want drawn on it in pencil. You might be able to see it, might not. And uh, so today I'm going to do my best to cut this thing out and not mess it up. Uh, this is going to be kind of one of the harder pieces to do, mainly because I don't really have a good way to cut out this arch. Uh, so what I'm going to try is I'm gonna take my sketchy old jigsaw and I'm gonna kinda of come close to this line here. And the problem with that jigsaw is that it, the blade, it bends on it. Uh, it doesn't cut straight through the piece of wood and I expect that to happen with this so I'll have to keep an eye on it. But So that's what I'm gonna be watching with, with that. But what I'm also gonna do to make that straight again is I actually got this really sweet old plane, hand plane, from my grandpa. He had it sitting down in his basement and wasn't using it and gave me this and a couple others too. Uh, I believe this one was like from 1906. It's a Stanley from 1906 and I mean I just did a little bit of playing with it just to kind of get the feel of it. I mean it works and it puts a really good uh, edge on it and smooth and doesn't gouge or anything it's it's really awesome so might uh, try and do a little restoration on this get it cleaned up and looking real nice in the future but for today it'll be fine the way it is so I will be using uh, just a regular square um, with the face of the board to know whether or not the top is gonna be square it's gonna be a different story for the bottom I'll figure that out after when I get that part but uh, for now it's time to work with the jigsaw but here goes nothing Is, that's the arch. Gonna have to do a little bit of touching up to make it smooth because obviously I can't cut straight with that jigsaw. <laughs> Alright. So now what I'm going to attempt to do is smooth this out, level it out with the plane. Clamp it down first. Somehow. Hey, 
as I expected, this side is a little bit high. That's why I didn't do, cut it right on the front, right on the line. All right, that's pretty close now. I'm gonna take the sander and make this nice and smooth. And it's not gonna matter if I kind of round these edges because I'm gonna take the router and do a round over bit on uh, these so that there are no sharp edges because it's a crib. Come on. So starting off, I'm going with an 80 grit just to kind of make everything nice and there's a little bit of bumps and ridges and I can feel it, you might be able to see it, but I'm just going to try and smooth it out as best I can with this, which is going to be taking off a decent amount of material. Helps to plug it in. Day for the GoPro. Well, it's not absolutely perfect, but it's pretty close, I think. Um, it looks a little bit rough now just because catching the catching the edges here with the sander just rounding him down um, makes it look weird because it's not even like right here this will be rounded over and so you never see this bit and that makes it look weird and makes it look a little uneven but I think it's pretty good right now so now to turn it over and do the other side which I don't think is quite as important because most of it will be hidden so Looks like I cut this one, this side a little bit better. Maybe it's just because I was familiar with the saw blade when I cut this side, but. This side right here is a little bit high. So I think I should be able to do everything with the sander on this one. <laughs> 